Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Karen Marsdale, President at the Greater Reading Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and we are here um, doing a series called Member Spotlight, and that's exactly what we do. We spotlight and celebrate our members. They are so diverse, and it's wonderful to hear their true stories of either how they got started in business, what their businesses do, and they're just so um, interesting that we felt that you as our audience would love to hear this too. So with me today is Sherry Kutz mm -hmm. from Assured Assistance. Welcome, Sherry. Thank you for having me. So you're based in Reading. Yes, we are. And you are not part of a franchise no. or a large um, mega organization. We are not. No, we are a small company. Um, we, the company was started about 12 years ago by a woman who was looking for senior care that was up to her standards for her mother and she could not find it. And so she started this company, um, ran the company for many years and sold it to the current owner, Keith Durr, um, and he has been running it ever since. Um, kept, we actually have some of those caregivers still with us. Wow, that's commendable. Yes. That says something about, about the the, the culture of the company. Absolutely. It's, a, it's an amazing company. We have an amazing service. Um, we, we really do make a difference in many seniors' lives, which is really what it's all about. And you know, that is, it is so important. Um, I mean, I'm at, at, at a place in time, and so many of my friends, um, I went through the process um, mm -hmm. and um, with my parents, well, my mother in particular, um, and it is so hard, you know, to find it is. Um, the, right, the right match and to, 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 to have that comfort and that assurance, assured, uh -huh. uh, you know, and absolutely, uh, you know, it, it assurance that your, your loved one is being cared for, whether it's a parent or, um, you know, a, a good friend or a relative. Absolutely. Um, and the important thing is to find a company that is, is going to be secure. Um, you can have a friend or a relative or a neighbor uh, coming out and providing those services, but they're not insured. So if something were to happen, whether someone slips and falls sure. or they cut their Certain. finger Good while they're point. making a meal, um, that's your liability then. So it's really important. That does come at a cheaper price point. Um, however, that liability in the long run could end up costing you a lot more. So it's really important to make sure that you have someone that is truly a qualified and Absolutely. Insured. I mean, I do think that that is so, that's such a, a you know, important statement to have made you know, insured, qualified, you know, you don't Absolutely. want to to, um, to put that, that, that onus on someone who isn't. Absolutely, yeah, and when you're asking a friend or a neighbor, they don't have any training. They just know whatever they may have picked up here or there. Certainly. Where, you know, we spend a lot of time training our caregivers and making sure they have the right tools to be successful in the job that they're, they're assigned to. So it's really important to make sure that you, you have somebody that's truly qualified to handle the job. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about your services, the gamut of the services that you sure. provide. We are a non-medical company, so we can handle anything non-medical or non-skilled in the home. So that can include anything from laundry service, um, changing bed linens, meal preparation, grocery shopping, transportation to and from doctors or a Target if you needed, you know, just some, some errands. Um, it could be um, meal preparation, it could be personal care. If they mm -hmm. need a little bit of help as you get older, it gets a little harder to raise that um, arm up and get all the nooks and crannies. So the personal care can be an important mm -hmm. component of that uh, as well. And sometimes it's just companionship. Someone who lives in a home by themselves um, just gets lonely and they, that little bit of extra, come play a game with me or, you know, let's go to Barnes and Nobles. Let's just go out and do something fun. Let's go to the mall. Um, you have someone then mm -hmm. that can do all those things with you. And you know, there is, um a need depending on um, obviously the 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 individual's um, situation mm -hmm. but I would imagine that what this can do is keep folks in their home longer absolutely and that truly is our goal it not just to keep them in their home but to keep them independent correct as long as they want to be and that home could be in, an, uh, in a facility, mm -hmm. it could be um, in a single dwelling, it could be in an apartment, it really is anywhere that is home to them. Sure. Um, so we're able to go wherever that is. And that's great, and that's, that, you know, that's something that 
Um, you know, you talked about how you're the original owner of the company mm -hmm. got started. You know, and I hear that from so many people. Um, you know, with other um, types of businesses similar to this, that you know they went through something and right. realized how important it is. And I mean, obviously, we're an aging population. We are. And um, and yet we 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 want to stay healthy. Absolutely. Um, but yet there can be things that will happen. You know, right. a fall or. Right. Um, you know, as you said, you're, you're just not as agile as you used to be, right. or maybe you don't want to have the burden of, or you don't want your, your, your parent to have the burden of making meals. Right. So exactly. there's just, a, you know, which is great because you can kind of customize um, the service. Exactly. Based on the client. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, you, you might have a son or daughter who comes in, you know, that once a week to spend a few hours with you. And you know the last thing you want them to do is that list of things that you've been oh, saving yes. all week. Oh, by the way, I need to go do this, and I need help with this. Um, you know, it would be nice to have that time to just spend with each other and to play a game or to do whatever fun you know right. you like to do right. with your family. Save those other jobs for someone else to help you Good out point, with. Good point, audience. <laughs> um, if you're yes. in that, if you're in that in, in that uh, situation. Because you want that quality time. And I can Absolutely. remember um, in my mother's latter years, um, and she lived out of state and then eventually brought her here to uh, Pennsylvania. But when we would visit, you know, I'd be there getting everything, you know, cleaned yeah. and this and that, and running to the store. And she would wonder, why, why, why is she not just sitting and talking to me? Right. I usually leave my husband to do that job. <laughs> but um, but it, was, it, was, it was, that's exactly what the challenge was. Absolutely. You wanted to make sure that they had all of those things Right. done and you know that you were they were taken care of taken care of yeah exactly um, so you know I think that that's that's so important so what are the biggest challenges facing you as it is it is it um, finding good employees is it yeah. um, you know just um, a mix of it really is it, it's it's two completely different things um, it's education to um, the population to our, our clients and letting them know what services are out there mm -hmm. Um, too many times people find these services because they're already in an emergency Absolutely. situation um, where they can't leave a rehab or a facility without having a service in place. And, and you know how it is when you're in a scramble. Then you, uh -huh. you tend to hire and not really do the research and really find what's right for you. Um, so that's a challenge and we try to do a lot of educational things, mm -hmm. try to get out in the community and, and make sure whether or not, I mean of course we want someone to use our agency, but the big thing is to, to educate and know that the sure. services are there. Right. Um, and then our other um, is hiring qualified employees. Um, we really do struggle with that as well. We go through quite a process to make sure that we are hiring the absolute best employees that are there mm -hmm. and and ultimately if we wouldn't feel comfortable with the employee in taking care of our parent or our grandparent we don't hire them to take care of someone else's so that Great is philosophy not, yeah and that's not um, a dime a dozen you know that they are truly um, that unique individual with just that right um, personality so it, it does become a, a challenge we're always looking to find that um, perfectly qualified individual. So I presume if you're you're looking, absolutely. All the time, so we if are. are out there who are listening or, or um, yeah. either interested or know of someone. Um, absolutely, we would love to have you give us a call. We are we're hiring right now. <laughs> well, and that seems to be the you know the 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 overarching um, comment that I get from so many yes. employers right now is that they are um, hiring and and finding and finding the right the right mix. Yes. Finding yes. the right mix of of, of, of yeah, clients. you know, we really need someone who is um, who's flexible because it it really is all about the client needs, and you know we want to be there to provide the client with the the best service and the services that they need. But as they get stronger and become more independent, mm -hmm. um, you know, especially if they're rehabbing from something or or recovering from an illness, we we want to pull back. You know, I always tell people it's kind of like. Um, building a house you put the scaffolding up and as the house gets stronger and and ultimately is able to stand on its own you take that scaffolding away and so our goal is to be able to pull the employees um, you know out and allow sure. them to be independent on their own and so you know that we need some some flexibility with our uh, employees and being able to make adjustments right, that are right. in the best in the best interest of our clients so what have you seen um, as the most challenging um, in 
you know, other than looking for good people mm -hmm. and you know, finding referrals. What about at the industry? What has changed or been challenging in the industry overall? Well, there's, the population is growing so quickly. Um, the number of people who um, are in that 65 and over population is, is so large um, that it's just finding enough services and getting enough education. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes um, they feel bombarded, but there's so much information out there, anything from Medicare to home modifications to um, in-home nursing to in-home rehabilitation. There's so many things out there now that can be done in the home, um, wherever that may be, um, that there's just such a learning curve for all of those services that are out there and getting to that large right, population. Right, that, that is huge and I, mm -hmm. I do know that, you know, I mean, I honestly don't know how someone who doesn't have a navigator or yes, some um, an advocate mm -hmm. to get through the, the maze can be, it just must be overwhelming if you get a call from um, the client themselves yeah. as opposed to a, yeah. you know, a, a loved one or someone who is, 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 is doing the research for them. Yeah. Because there's so, there's so much out there, there is. and there's a lot of differences in the, various, in the varying levels of service and what that means. Absolutely. So, you Absolutely. know, it's, it, it, it can be a challenge. Do you think that Berks County is adequately um, mm -hmm. served with the number of agencies that we have available, whether they're private or public, or, or do you think that there's a need in one particular area? I do think at this time we are adequately served. Um, there are a lot of great facility um, facilities and agencies out there. Um, there's uh, some really great facilities that have openings that, um, you know, there's not huge waiting lists at different places. Um, so I, I think it's adequate at this point. It's just a matter of, you know, I think sometimes the people that need it most don't always know what's available. So it just comes back to that educational piece. That You're absolutely right. I think that that's yeah. a big, big part of it, you yeah. know, and, and we have a very diverse population yes. in our county mm -hmm. um, from the city and then from the county. So, you know, you, you really need to, and, and trying to fit into the needs and the educational piece. Correct. Um, is really can be, can be a challenge and daunting. So. Absolutely. Um, that's Absolutely. great. Well, I thank you so much for being here and. Thank you um, for having me. And really being a part of the chamber. Um, yeah. I'm hoping that this, that, that your chamber membership is helping you to get, build awareness, educate people, make Absolutely. referrals. Um, because there is, you know, we are an aging population yes. and these, these types of services are going to be more and more needed. Yeah, the between. chamber has been great for me. I actually started with the company a year ago and I relied very heavily on the chamber for trainings and, um, and getting out to meet people and networking and it has been a huge resource for me. I truly appreciate the That's opportunities. Excellent to hear. Yes. I'd like to, to, to kind of shout that from the rooftop. Yeah. So good. Yes. That's, that, that's great, Sherry, that you're using us. And you know, that's Absolutely. what we always say. You've got to use that um, in, for, for all purposes, yes. you know, when you're in business. So thank you. I appreciate that. It's great you're to welcome. have you here today. Thank you. Thank you.